um, GT3 Sprint Race Daytona. Um, it's going to be 20 minutes again. Um, it's fixed, so I don't got to worry about setup. Um, last race did not go to plan. I made a mistake at the uh, exit of the bus stop. Oh, I am. Oh. I have the highest I rating in here. Oh, this is going to be a disaster. So I can only gain I rating. I mean, I can only lose it. I can't gain any. Um, but yeah. Uh, we'll see what we can do in this qualifying session. Um, should be a fun 20 minute race, but first, gotta qualify, right? Length speed limit is 55 miles per hour. There you go. Um, based off of the first, um, all clear on pit exit. We've got two laps to get the job done, mate. Based off of the the first one of these I did, and I'm kind of experienced driving stars. Um, first lap is, I mean, it's not gonna be the ultimate lap. You need two laps because. On that first lap, the tires are not going to be fully up to temp. Second lap is where the temperature is going to come in. So, well, the second lap is where all the temperature should be at the proper levels. The first lap is kind of like a thinker lap. Second lap should be the good one if I don't mess up which based off the last race I'm apparently prone to do it we'll see come here start the lap That was a one forty six point seven.
has just done a 146.4. Five, that. Right about that. I couldn't. F oh, I definitely could have got P two. Definitely, or at least P three. Cause that lap I was on was, I think it was at least a time faster. So if we keep that tent. That would have been P three. Oh well, I'm not the best at qualifying. So. I'll see. Hopefully this goes a lot better than the last one. One lap to green. Line up on the left side. The estimated strength of field is 1,989. Pit road is closed right now. Waiting on two cars to grid. Waiting on the final car to grid. Everyone's gridded. The track temp is 81, the air temp is 78, Fahrenheit, P5. We need to follow car number 07 in the left lane. Okay, here comes the race. Hope for the best here. Just gotta stay consistent. Don't spin. Keep it clean. Then we'll go from there. Aggressive. Oh.
Man, they got so much, such better runoff than me. It's okay. Silver. Unfortunate. Our leader is gone. The leader has just done a one forty six point five. This guy to structure. Fifteen minutes left, that's fifteen minutes. Send in half.
Sorry, that wasn't a slowdown. Got behind, got a slowdown now. The leader has just done a 145.9 P3. This is terrific, exactly what we came here for. Sector 1 is 0 0.8, off the pace. On your right, clear right. Car right, clear right. Great move, keep it up. Silver is reeling you in. The gap's now 0.3. He's faster than you in two, turn five. Watch your nerve. Make them do the work. Yeah, I don't know what that lap car is doing, bro. Try and move here. V2, that lap time was one forty seven point zero. I don't know where that guy came from. left and that's half distance you're looking good for fuel Not really pulling away from the guys behind. That lap time was 146.8. Right side, clear to the right. There's an incident in. What is this guy doing? Slow in, fast out. Keep the inside line covered. Don't 
Don't do it, don't do it. Just done at 146.8. Good consistency. Keep them coming. The gap in front is now 4.6. Horrible, horrible exit. Oh, he's sticking behind, okay. I'm not moving. Don't be pressured. Keep your exit speeds up. The quicker than us entering, we'll stop. Still there. Keep it steady. Clear left. I was on the curb. He just squeezed me too much. It's fine. It's good racing. Five minutes to go. You're looking good for a podium. Fastest lap for silver, 145.8.
two more laps. Peter must have had to slow down. It's coming up on the last lap right here. Grace. Good one, Alex. It's a pretty good race. I mean, I mean, I will admit I did get it go into him. I will admit that, but uh, it's the last slide. It wasn't anything serious. I gave him room on the exit too, so 
Nothing too bad. But yeah. Yeah, not like he had the run, but I wasn't leaving. Oh, Save my line. It's not really. Uh, last letters, yeah. <sighs> I think he got away in that first stands in the race where everybody was battling each other. And then, I mean... That was his fastest lap. Like when everybody was battling each other. But like once the battling stopped, we were all pretty much it's pretty much the same lap times. Mid forty Yeah, mid forty sixes. See. Yeah, mid forty sixes. So it was just that one it's it's that gap. That's the thing. You get that gap like at Daytona. Like once you get that, like once you get into that that slipstream train, that draft train, it's so hard to get out of. So hard. It's so hard to get out. Cause I, I mean, I genuinely, I think if I wasn't slightly faster than him, we had the same pace. Um. But the thing is, I just couldn't get away. I just couldn't get away from him. Like, I couldn't, like... Like, he, like... He'd be, like, four, five, tenths back. And then by the time... You have to turn one, he was right here. I mean... The thing is, to turn one... Unless you're brave... <laughs> it's really hard to pass here. And that was intentional. Just doing my line. He's doing his. It wasn't like I was blocking him. That was. He was so much faster than me. Right here. Yeah. Oh no, this is the lap I tried to break later. Yeah. You just can't. I, I at least I couldn't. I at least not yet. I couldn't roll the brakes. I don't want it to. And I compromised my exit. I think generally I was faster than him. Which is why I don't think, which is why I think he couldn't pass me. Because I was just, I was faster than him. Slightly. I was slightly faster than him. But, uh, I don't know what happened to this guy. I know I passed him, but like. Got loose. I was like, <laughs> the reason I went, he went super defensive. I was about to do the, the switch back, but he covered it off, and then he just let me through. I don't know why. He let me through. Oh, cause he he spun. He almost spun. Um. Yeah. I don't know what happened here. Cause he's on me, and then he wasn't. Let's see, yeah. 
Let's see. That's all fair. That's fair. That's fair. I mean, that's fair. I didn't even get in front of him. Did he have to change his steering for me? I feel like he was already out of line anyway. No, yeah, no. that was a mistake on his part. He went in too deep. The problem with turn one. Let's see, the problem with turn one is this is why it's kind of hard. Is right here. There's kind of a little crown, and it's not that big but if you're not mindful of it when you initially turn in it's really really hard to like get the car turned in once you're on the other side of the ground and you're breaking from you're breaking from the opposite side and trying to come back in so like I think the traditional the line that I usually do is I kind of come in, come out, and then come back in. Obviously, I think this lap. I mean, with this car, I'm still trying to get used to the car. But I'm kind of... I'm kind of breaking too much. Because I'm slowing down a little bit too much for the corners. Now, I, I don't think I did. I don't think I slowed down too much for this one, particularly. Maybe I could have... Break a little bit later, but regardless, in the prototypes, I mean, in the prototypes in real life, they come out, they come in, they come back. That's because the downforce is helping them kind of turn in and get over this ground. GT cars, it's a lot harder to do that because you're focusing more on mechanical grip than. Or dynamical grip. I mean, these cars have arrow, but nothing. The arrow is like nothing compared to the prototypes. And the crown is taking away the mechanical grip because the crown is wanting the car to go this way because it's tilted upward to the left, so all the grip is trying to take you this way. Um, so that's why it's kind of harder to to like break on this side, come back in. And then get a good exit because you're already on this side. There's already no grip anyway. A uh, factor in the marbles, and you may be able to get right here, but you're never going to be able to cross back over. That's why it's a lot easier for me to come in, get to the middle, and come back in. Come come in, come out, and then come back in. Because my braking is already set for me to. By the time I get here, I'm slow enough to where. The crown doesn't really matter as much to my mechanical grip. Whereas you go on the outside, you're always going to carry a little bit more speed in because your, your angle was a lot less, less steep. And the key, which I need to figure out for turn one, is how wide can I get? carry a similar line to carry the most speed in here because even though I was able to get second place I was repeatedly getting beaten in turn one and it wasn't the initial phase the initial phase I was I break I outbreaked all of them in the initial phase it's the second phase right here the second phase right here that always got beat. so I gotta figure out like what I can do some more laps to figure out like how can I carry more speed through there because there's more potential where right, there's way more speed in this corner but I figure out how to make that happen and then I think I'm very consistent with the international horseshoe. I think that's the international one. I always get so confused. I'm just so inconsistent with this. 
Like there's some it's like some laps I get it really really good. I don't I don't know if this one was. And I carry I think I actually I think this was pretty good. It looks really good. And I think that's because I'm not relying on a curve as much, which is something you probably know in my practice laps, but this corner right here, I am just really bad at. I don't I just don't know how to get it right. So I don't work on that. Like I'm good enough to, to like for it to work. But like it's not like if I rank it out of ten I'd give it like a seven and a half because there's still a lot of time on the table in this turn. And this one I'm kinda like figuring it as I go. Cause that my line has kind of adapted um, over the years. Like I used to drive the GTE a lot on iRacing. racing. That was a thing. Kind of, I used to take a lot tighter line, which I think in qualifying I definitely did. I take a tighter line. I've kind of widened it out a little bit to get a better exit, but. I think for me the key is see that's that's not what I want right here. See this? That's just gives me time. When you're not on any when you're not putting any inputs in, any pedal inputs, that's losing your time. But I think what's losing me a lot of time is that combined with figuring out how to get on a throttle earlier. I think some of that is me just need more practice laps, particularly on this track, but also me learning the car, like learning how to drive it, learning how to best drive it. But we'll see. That was a fun race, though. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. It was fun for me. Uh, stressful, but fun. Nice little 20 minute sprint. So. It was fun. Hope you enjoyed watching. Uh, have a good one. Bye.